it seemed so cool to me that there was this museum that was specifically for undergraduates. It is an old museum, it is a rich museum, and it's a teaching museum. A place where ideas get discussed. The museum is a crossroads for multiple vantage points and is the place where all of these come together. This day and age when reality is changing at such a fast pace, um, art is the constant in our world. And what's interesting about this coin... We have this incredibly unique collection that's been growing over the past almost 250 years. The collection is broad and deep, and that enables many departments to take advantage of the collections in experience-based learning. We've shifted from teaching about art to teaching with art, and part of that has been a shift to object-based teaching. The students in the medical school the students in the engineering school, my students in the humanities are all here at the hood engaging with uh, objects in the museum. It was one of the first institutions to have a teaching with art professional, somebody whose job it was to reach out to the faculty and say, please come in and use these objects. You say, I am teaching a course on religious culture in the Caribbean. Do you have stuff on that? And then they'll say, of course we do. Here's a list of a hundred objects we have. You see a student, uh, say, in front of a, a, a print by Rembrandt, uh, and they're able to get the sense of the materiality, how that work was made, what uh, ingenuity went into its creation. When the students begin to interact with objects, the temperature in the room goes up 15 to 20 degrees. Where can I do this again? How can I see more? Uh, how can I uh, incorporate art into my studies? You see a, a young student hold in their hand, let's say, an ancient coin, and it dawns on them. They have a little epiphany that somewhere, sometime, somebody bought a goat with this very coin 3,000 years ago, and they get it. We've been able to understand how students best learn in the museum. We have a program that we call a Space for Dialogue that is a student-curated uh, area of the museum where students curate their own exhibition and make those actual decisions about which things should be in there, how they should be framed. The Hood Museum sits right in the center of our campus, but it's hard to find the front door. The one thing standing in the Hood's way right now is access to enough room to teach. What excites me most about the Hood expansion is that it's purpose-driven and that it's practice-driven. Working with Todd Williams, Billy Chen is a dream for me because in the, in the realm of architects today, I think of them as just two of the best. We are going to be able to create new opportunities for experiential learning. It's going to advertise in a, in a much more prominent way what we really have here. My hope for the hood is that people walk in and feel a generosity of spirit in the, in the realm of contemporary global art. And that's very important. Every student should be able to find themselves reflected. The hood is already amazing, and this is just another great step. You've got this engagement space, you've got new teaching galleries, and you've got expanded galleries for the collection. It couldn't be better. This is going to be a game changer. It's going to put it in a league of elite institutions with great active museums. And really a symbol of the very best that Dartmouth is and that Dartmouth will be in the future. This is something that cannot be completed soon enough. Because I want to get back in here. <laughs>